Oh no, Overwatch 2's got a skin problem. <laughs> I really like the part where Blizzard didn't nerf skin prices. Truly an Overwatch 2 moment. The part where Farah says debt reigns from above was truly a poetic moment. <laughs> Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, Overwatch 2's got a skin problem, and it's a pretty big problem. So let's take a look at this. It's the uh, roadmap for Season 2. Now, what I want you to look at here is not all the fancy pictures or whatever. It's just the thing about the Battle Pass, Premium Battle Pass. Look at those skins there. You've got Zeus, Mythic, Junker Queen. We'll get onto that in a second. We've got Poseidon Remarch, which looks insane. And we've got that sort of Underworld Pharah skin, which also looks really, really good. I mean, hell, look at this skin. Not that one. It's terrible. That looks sick. And this, they look sick. They look really, really good. They're almost enough for you to go, yes, the battle pass is worth it. Although we're, good. <laughs> we're not going to pass judgment on any battle pass just yet because we need to actually get the thing. But the battle pass, that's something for a different video because we want to see things like premium currency in the battle pass uh, and all kinds of different stuff. And, you know, if they're not there again, then it's going to be quite annoying. Anyway, free event skins. This is something I want to talk about. So... On the face of it, now this is me being really naive again. It's No, you know what? Screw this. It's not me being naive. This is me being player-focused and thinking, okay, wow, they've, they've said they're going to give us free skins for uh, new events, right? Because they, they heard the feedback from the Halloween event that people were not happy that they couldn't earn skins through playing the game. So we're going to do this now. So I'm like, cool. This means we're going to get the new skins. Actually, no. This means that Blizzard are just going to basically give you the old skins. Now, if you're a veteran Overwatch player, you've probably got these skins already. And they're old skins. They're not new skins. This is this is like a slap in the face, man. And I, I honestly, what are they doing? They should just give away what, like one new skin <laughs> per event. It's not hard to do that, is it, Blizzard? Come on. Anyway, this is what they say. We're bringing back the Winter Wonderland event starting December the 13th to January the 4th and Lunar New Year event starting January the 17th to February the 1st, both with new and improved rewards. Each event is uh, and season, uh, each event, sorry, this season will have a skin as a reward that you can earn simply by jumping in the fun, into the fun and completing challenges. This includes Epic Ice Queen Brick, Legendary Wing Victory Mercy and Legendary Catchy Echo. Come with me. This is my hero gallery. Now, this is my Mercy. I've already got this skin, Wing Victory Mercy, because it's an old skin. Yeah, I know. Okay, it's a Greek-styled skin. Looks great. Makes sense for the season. Okay, but it's an old skin. So, that's of no use to me. This is also an old skin that I've also got. So, that reward's no use to me. So, Blizzard need to offer some sort of other reward. Like, are they going to give me premium currency? <laughs> of course they're not. But are they going to give me something else? Or is it just like, oh, fair enough, you don't get it. The only skin that we'll get, we will get, apparently, is this uh, Brig skin, because that is not in the game at the moment. So, yeah, at least there's one skin out of the three there that they're touting as super-duper free skins. Now, again, this does play into the whole narrative of Blizzard. Again, I just focused on getting new players into this game. So, for a new player, wow, holy shit, this looks great. Oh, my God, I'm going to get some sort of awesome reward here. But for old players, it's like, no, nah, you're not. Now, I find this really crazy, because surely you'd want your old player base to be absolutely on board with everything you're doing in the game because there are 50 million players of overwatch one uh so surely you want to make them happy to bring them back but whatever who knows what do i know <laughs> there is no word on price updates in the store and in fact we're expecting no price updates in the store legendary skins cost 19 dollars We'll keep this USD for now because a lot of people understand the value of that currency. If I start talking about pounds, people will be like, what are you talking about, mate? That's weight. That's not even money. I'm like, no, calm down. US dollars 19 for a legendary skin. These legendary skins that are being showcased in this event are absolutely frigging sick. They look incredible. Widowmaker looks amazing, but we'll get onto that in a second because that's a bundle skin. So that'll be more than $19. Uh, anyway, they look incredible. They look sick. It's like, look at these skins. I want these skins. But the problem I've got is, again, I fall back into the trap of, oh, God, new Overwatch events, new skins. Oh, this looks... Oh, I have to buy them. $20? Oh, wow. And, and it's horrible. I can't digest the price of these skins. I just cannot digest it. And again, this is a big issue, and it's obviously a clearly massive issue if all the comments on the official video for Season 2 over on their YouTube channel are all hating and hitting on the terrible monetization cost of the skins it is mad overpriced bundles well here we go again so these two skins that i'm about to show you the cyclops roadhog and the widowmaker medusa skin 
are bundles and they've even got their own special little bundle assets they've uploaded to the blizzard press site for all of the press to download um yeah so you get items here i'm not even sure what those two items are <laughs> to the side i don't know what that is uh, he's like holding his I, I really don't oh one's probably a souvenir and the other one is something out i don't know i really don't know now the good news is you're probably going to be able to buy the skin individually because they did make that update to the store recently so yes it is a bundle but you're still probably going to be able to buy the skin on its own but again it looks like a cool skin but once you start throwing in all of the store stuff it becomes a major ball ache it sours the taste of the incredible design this is the Widowmaker Medusa skin. Probably, you know, I think this and the Poseidon skin to me are by far the best skins that they've showcased uh, for this season. This looks great, but again, it's got some little bits and pieces with it. Pfft, great. I don't, I mean, what's that? A Hammond that's been turned to stone? Is that a souvenir? Probably. Is that, a, do, do, does anybody even use souvenirs? I always ask this. Nobody uses souvenirs. Worst cosmetic idea ever. Um, maybe it's a player icon or something. I don't know. But it looks sick, right? But when I say to you, this is going to be, uh, $20 basically for that skin on its own if you don't buy the bundle. What, what are you saying back to me? You, you know, oh, it's so it's so sickening. Right, let's talk about the insane skin quality because Blizzard, you kill it. You kill it, you kill it, you kill it. What you've got, Blizzard, is like industry-leading skin design. But then what you don't have is industry-leading monetization or even industry-leading making people want to buy these skins. So they look at the skins like this Reinhardt skin and go, holy shit, that looks absolutely mental. The detail looks crazed. I'm not the biggest fan of skins that obscure a character's face because I do like their face to be, it kind of makes it more expressive. But I just don't care with this. It's like, this looks this looks sick. It looks better than the, the Mythic skin, uh, the Junker Queen skin. So I'm like, oh my days. But Sty, it's going to cost you $19. I'm like, oh, oh no. Blizzard, no. Imagine if... Imagine if this was a reward for doing the Gods of Olympus mode or whatever they've come up with, the Battleground of the Gods or whatever they call it. Oh, my days. Everyone would be raving about it. It'd be positivity everywhere. But you can't do that because we've spent time developing the skin, so we've got to sell it for $20. Ah, it kills me. Right, the, the Junker Queen skin. Okay. Oh, uh, th this one, it's weird. I, I just think this is weird. I, 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 get, I get them. Oh, what, what have they done here? I think what they've done is they haven't gone the route of maximum monetization here for a change. Um, they've probably just gone the route of whatever skin is finished and ready to go. Or this is what I'd like to believe. Again, maybe this is me being a bit uh, naive that they thought, you know what? Actually, the Junker Queen model kind of fits the sort of aesthetic we're going for. So we're going to go for Junker Queen in this mode. You could actually argue that maybe Sigma even fits this better and Sigma should have a crazy Zeus skin or something like that. Um, so... Yeah, but it still is a bit weird to me that it's Junker Queen. I still think this is a relatively weak Mythic skin compared to the Genji one. Like, we've seen the Genji one with, like, crazy special effects on his Dragon Blade and all that. Will this have it on our ultimate? Well, we've we've already seen her use the ultimate in a highlight intro, and uh, it doesn't seem to have any crazy special effects. So there seems to be bits of lightning coming out of her here and there. So, yeah, it's just a bit weird, this one. It just doesn't seem as good, and that's an issue, right? If you set the bar high with a Mythic skin... And you're going around saying these are the best skins we've ever made. Uh, and then we've got this. It's like, okay, I don't know. Maybe this has got tons more uh, customization options we've not seen or, or whatever. I don't know. But I just think it's a bit weak as a mythic skin. But as a skin, I think it's fine, right? And remember, this is the end of the Battle Pass reward. So if you are buying the Battle Pass, which I guess is still going to cost $10, then this is just sort of the sweetener at the end that you get. Talking of the Battle Pass, now we did touch on this a little bit, so skins that are actually in the Battle Pass. Now they've teased this skin being in the Battle Pass, which I think looks really good, uh, and also the Poseidon skin, which is, again, really good, and they could have easily put them into the store. Maybe that's a case of Blizzard taking on board some sort of community feedback about not having enough themed skins in the uh, Battle Pass. Um, so maybe they're doing that this year, and we're going to see more skins that are themed towards Greek mythology. Um, but the question is always going to remain... We did see some pretty weak skins um, in... Uh, you guys can see it in the video footage rolling through in the background. Uh, there's like an Echo skin, which should have come out in Season 1 because that was actually part of the Season 1 promotional material. Um, there's a Tracer skin. looks like some, you know, uh, mediocre epic skin. You've got um, the, the Neo from the Matrix-style Symmetra skin. 
they're going to be in the battle pass, aren't they? They're not going in the store, let's be real. I think you can easily see that. And if they do go in the store and then the better skins are in the battle pass, I mean, I will literally eat my hat. So Overwatch has got a bit of a, uh, a bad problem when it comes to skins. It's like good and bad. They're producing insane skins, but they're really making the player base not want to buy those skins. Now, it was always going to be difficult because we were coming from a world where you could earn the skins through playing the game to suddenly a world where you can't do that any longer. You have to buy them or you get crappy ones or you get old ones for free. <laughs> That's what we've moved into. But I still think there are so many things Blizzard could do here. They're, they could be more generous. They could drop the prices. I don't know. There's loads and loads of stuff they could do here. And still, I'm finding it really difficult to get hyped and pumped about these things when I start realizing the way that they've been broken down into the various monetization systems Blizzard have got. And it just doesn't, I don't know, it, it just leaves a sour taste in my throat. All right, guys, I'm going to leave the video at that. Let me know what you think about the skin problem in Overwatch 2. As I say, it's both a good and, and sort of a bad problem that they've got. I hope they can work something out with this because I feel like the skins do look incredible, but there's a lot of issues with this. All right, guys, thank you for listening and watching the video. I've been Stardosa, and I'll catch you lovely lot on the next one. See you soon.